Okay, so gonna review, start to review. So today just 2.1. There's kind of a decent number of things in the section, but um, so you'll need to write inequalities from a sentence. So sum means add difference, subtract, product, multiply, quotient, I always misspell quotient. Divide. Um, so obviously, more or greater than and less than, you use the appropriate symbol, but more would mean greater than, fewer, less than. Um, in a sentence, Wherever you see the word and, that's where the sign goes. So the sum of blank and blank, the and, that's where the, the add, subtract, multiply, or divide, that's where it goes. Um, so it's just, you know, if you want to watch, rewatch the full video, go for it. It'll be more detailed. But um, you'll need to just take a sentence and write it as an inequality. So if it said, um, the sum of twice a number and three is more than 10. So sum means I'm going to add, what am I going to add? Twice a number. 3x, or excuse me, twice a number is 2, 2x, and, okay, so there's that and part, that means that's where the sign goes, um, is more than 10, and that's the answer, you're not solving it, okay? So then you'll have some problems. This is kind of a big thing to remember. Is the value a solution? So anytime, I've said it a bunch and I'm gonna keep saying it, anytime that's the direction how you do the problem is plug in the value. Okay, so let's do a somewhat tricky one. Five minus X is less than eight. And if x is negative 3. So it's tricky because I'm putting negative 3 where the x is. And sometimes we leave out, oops, we leave out that minus sign right there. So there's a minus sign right there from the problem. And then the x is negative 3. So the minus minus turn into a plus. 
Most common mistake is we don't put both minus signs. So there's one from the problem and one from the number that we're plugging in. So then we get 8 is less than 8. Well, that's not true. They're equal. So no, negative 3 is not a solution. If you just put 5 minus 3, you know, you forgot one of the minus signs, you'd get 2 is less than 8, and then you'd say, yes, it is a solution. So big difference there. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the rest of the section is just dealing with graphing on a number line. So x is greater than 2. So remember, you just need to put 0 and then the number you're dealing with. Put a circle where the number is. Uh, greater than means go to the right. And then I do not color the circle in because there's not an and equal. So if I had x is less than or equal to 3, put the circle less than means go to the left. And this one is and equal, so that means I color in the circle also. So the difference between the meaning in these two is on the top one, 2 is actually not a solution. The solutions are anything greater than 2. On the bottom one, the solutions are including 3 and under. So 3 is a solution and then less than 3. On this one, the top one, 2 is not a solution, but the solutions are greater. So you'll need to, um, I think there's a couple problems um, the you'll need to like graph some and then some you have to graph and write the inequality okay so if you want to watch um, the full video what day was that you can go back to September 16th and that may have a little bit more information than what I just did but the review is designed to go hey remember this so if if you're good obviously you don't need to but if there's more information that you're not quite sure of September 16th all right have a great rest of your day guys we'll see you tomorrow